Good day, Water Defenders! Welcome to our vlog! For today's episode, we'll know more about one of the most important resources that we have and that is water. But before that, did you know that our brain is 70% water? Hmm, I wonder if it's salty. So, what are we waiting for? Let's dive into it. As stated in the Republic Act number 9275, also known as the Philippine Clean Water Act of 2004, Philippines is an archipelago that is surrounded by water. Our country ranks fourth with the largest coastline in the world, measuring 36,289 kilometers, while its water area covers 1,830 square kilometers. These resources contributed to its development. However, there were factors causing damage to these water resources. To address this problem, a law was signed to pursue a policy of economic growth in a manner consistent with the protection, preservation, and revival of the quality of our fresh, brackish, and marine waters. Let us get to know more about water resources its uses and management through an overview written by Edward Lapong and Masayuki Fujihara. Our country has abundant water resources endowed with 59 lakes and 421 river basins. Aside from that, we also have freshwater swamps and groundwater reservoirs. In relation to the country's major employment sector, which is agriculture, fishing, and forestry, let us take a look at the different water sources and uses by sector. Surface water like oceans, streams, lakes, ponds, rivers, creeks, and wetlands has the following use. Agricultural industry, 74%. 9% for industrial sector and 17% for domestic use. This is because of intensive rice production in the country that the agricultural sector accounts for the highest water user with approximately three-fourths of the total water supply. Groundwater, it is the water found underground in the cracks and spaces in soil, sand and rock. It is stored in and moves slowly through geologic formations of soil, sand and rock called aquifer. Groundwater is used primarily for domestic purposes with 63%, 17% for agriculture and 1% for power generation. The Water Environment Partnership in Asia or WEPA presented an overview of the status of the water resources in the Philippines. Let us take a look at this video. The discharge of domestic and industrial wastewater and agricultural runoff has caused extensive pollution of the receiving water bodies. This effluent is in the form of root sewage detergents, fertilizer, heavy metals, chemical products, oils, and even solid waste. Each of these pollutants has a different noxious effect that influences human livelihood and translates into economic costs. In scientific definition, water is an inorganic, transparent, tasteless, odorless, and nearly colorless sub chemical substance, which is the main constituent of Earth's hydrosphere and the fluids of all known living organisms. It is vital for all known forms of life, even though it provides no calories or organic nutrients. Its chemical formula is H2O. The government continues its fight against worsening water pollution by espousing and including among its priorities environment policies, legislation, and decrees that address the growing need to control water pollution. Here in the Philippines, there are agencies that can help us improve the quality of our water. DENR, responsible for the management, conservation, and development of forest lands and watersheds, 
and maintaining water quality. BA, responsible for the utilization and management of soil and water as vital resources. NPC, authority to take water from any public stream, river, creek, lake, or waterfall for power generation. PNOC, jurisdiction, control, management, protection, development, and rehabilitation of watershed reserves. NIA, improve, construct, administer all national irrigation systems of the country. We also have DOE, NWRB, DOH, DPWH, NEDA, NCIP, and Joint Executive and Legislative Water Crisis Commission. Aside from these organizations, we also have new and emerging water treatment technologies that can help remove contaminants in our water. We have membrane filtration technology, reverse osmosis, distillation systems, and isotope hydrology. This is a manifestation that our government is really trying hard to provide the best quality of water to Filipinos and to ensure that our water resources are maintained. If this is move of our country progresses, operations will persist. Industrialization will continue without harming our resource and life will continue to coexist with technology and modernization. All together, let us help protect our water resources. Observe garbage segregation. Be vigilant and educate yourselves of the policies on water management. Conserve our resources. Defend our areas and save our sanctuary. There is no problem that is too big if we work hand in hand.